Update. My ex-wife came out as lesbian and left me and my daughters three years ago. And now she's back. Original post. So how do I start this? Well, three years ago my wife came out as lesbian. We've been together for many years. In fact, our oldest daughter was 14 at the time and my youngest was 10. Our life was good. Both me and my wife worked so we had stable finances and I thought we were happy. That was until one evening my wife sat us down and explained that she was in love with a female colleague from her workplace and that she wants to be with her. She said she was sorry but she had to find out who she was and that that would only be possible if she'd let her old life behind herself blah blah blah. The typical breakup nonsense. On that day, she left us and cut contact. For me and my daughters, the world fell apart. I knew that I now had to take care of my daughters all by myself. I was in a state of depression for a long time, but I kept fighting for my daughters, while every attempt to contact my ex-wife failed. Luckily I found a much better paying job, that made it possible for me to give them the world. My daughters had good grades in school, and I knew that our life would soon be better again. But once in a while when I took my youngest daughter to bed, she asked if I would leave them like mom. I hugged her and gave her a kiss on the forehead, and promised her that I would never leave them, and that I loved them more than anything in the world. I was so angry at my ex-wife, because she was the one that gave her those feelings. I wonder if she ever realized what she had done to our daughters. Fast forward to a few weeks ago. My daughters and I sat in the living room, and I told them that because Christmas month was already next month, they should write down what they want for Christmas. My oldest daughter is now 17 and my youngest is now 13. While they were busy writing, the doorbell rang and I wondered who it was. When I opened the door, I froze in shock. It was my ex-wife with a big smile on her face. She said she was happy to see me and tried to hug me, but I refused to hug her. My oldest daughter then came up behind me and asked me who it was, and when she saw her mother, her facial expression immediately changed. I've never seen her so angry. My ex-wife tried to apologize and she wanted to hug her, but my daughter pushed her away and shouted at her to leave and that she never ever wants to see her again. Then my youngest daughter also joined us. She just got angry too, turned around and went to her bedroom. Then my oldest followed her to comfort her. From the look on her face, I figured she was ashamed, as she should be. I asked what she wanted. She said that the last three years weren't good years for her. She constantly thought of her daughters and wanted to see them again. But for some reason she never came by, because she was expecting this exact response from them. But she guessed that she deserved this. She asked if I could talk to them. I told her that I could tell them she was sorry and let them decide. But I will not push them into doing anything they don't want to. She was okay with that and left. She also left me her new number to contact her. I then got into my daughter's room. She cried in the arms of her older sister. I told them what their mother has told me. I told them that if they'd want to meet her, they could do that. It would be okay for me. My oldest daughter said that she cannot forgive her for doing what she did and that I was everything they need. It felt good to hear this, really good. I always thought that being a single parent would mean that I might never be enough for my children, so hearing this made me so happy. My youngest daughter then said that she always thought she missed her mother, but now that she had seen her again, she never wants to see her again. I texted my ex-wife about that. She read it but she didn't respond. But she didn't give up that easily. She showed to our house once more while my daughters played ping pong outside. I was in the living room watching TV when I suddenly heard loud shouting outside of the house. I immediately got there and I saw my oldest daughter arguing with my ex-wife. My oldest daughter shouted at her that she had no idea what she did to me. She told her about how depressed I was and everything I went through. This was kind of surprising because I wanted my daughters to feel secure with me so I've never told them of my depression and the suffering I went through. Then she continued how she felt over the years, knowing that her mother left her and that she'll never forgive her. My 13-year-old was crying while this happened, so I hugged and comforted her, but I also don't want to interfere, because if my oldest daughter wanted to tell her mother anything, I'm not gonna stop her just to protect my ex-wife's feelings. Overall, she never cared about our feelings either. After she was done, she came hugging me as well. And I told my ex-wife she should leave us alone for good. If she ever showed up here again, we'll get a restraining order. She left in tears. Well, that was three days ago, and she hasn't showed up again so far. I just hope she leaves us alone. My daughters made it very clear they don't want to have anything to do with her. I wanted to give them the opportunity to meet their mother again, because if there is any chance that my children have a mother again, I don't want to stand in their way. But I'm glad they didn't give her the chance. I don't know if it makes me bad person to think this, but I also don't think that my ex-wife deserves to be with her daughters again, so I hope the last encounter delivered the message. Thank you for reading. Now for the top comments before reading the update. 
Damn dude, she told her about how depressed I was and everything I went through. This was kind of surprising, because I wanted my daughters to feel secure with me, so I've never told them of my depression and the suffering I went through. You can see in that, that they care about you, and you care about them. I wish you and your queens nothing but the best in life. The thing is, humans wear emotions on their sleeves, it's difficult to hide what you're feeling, you might try to, but your body language, tone of voice, and even the eyes give it away. It's interesting to learn about how it all works. This I have found to be accurate more often than not. If you grew up with abuse, you are good at putting up walls and wearing masks. But everyone has a tell. Many have multiple. I don't understand why the realization of being a lesbian means she needs to leave her children. How selfish. I really don't understand the connections her brain made to get this answer. I mean, I can only speculate, but this didn't seem like a harmful relationship. She surely could have told the guy her feelings, that she wanted to separate, and some sort of space to freely dip her toes into the lesbian pool. And still, keep contact with the kids. So many possibilities that didn't involve ghosting the whole family for three years and still being her new self. People get real upset when they have to lay in the beds they make. Being a parent isn't like watching a Netflix show. You can't just pause it and come back like nothing happened. Edit. Thank you for all your support. I read all of your comments and I'm so thankful for all your positivity. For everyone who wonders. Yes, my daughters went to therapy and so did I, but I'm afraid the progress we've made could be destroyed by her sudden appearance. I never expected this to explode the way it did, but thank you so so much for all your support. I appreciate it. But I still want to clarify something because I read it a few times while going through the comments. I never had a problem with her being gay. Her sexuality isn't something she can control. I had a problem because she could have explored it and still be a loving and caring mother. I do not think that she's gonna try anything, but if she does, I'm gonna keep you updated. By the way, since this post already blew up so insanely, I figured I could show it my daughters as well as they probably would have found it anyways, and they are also thankful for your comments and the support. We appreciate you guys. You are an amazing community. And now for the update. I actually thought about not using this account anymore, but I promised you an update so here I am. She showed up again, but luckily not at home. I think about what's the best way to describe what happened today. Let's just say it could also be a part of one of those bad written stereotypical drama series. My younger daughter came home today with a mad look on her face and when I asked what was wrong, she started to explain. It all started when my younger daughter got out of school today. Usually she just walks home, but this time, my ex-wife waited for her at the exit. She tried to ghost her, but she was stubborn and refused to let her go just like that. She offered her a ride home. My daughter refused but she insisted. She prepared herself for running away, but before she could, my ex-wife made her an offer. She would give her a ride home and would try to explain everything to her, and if she still don't want to see her again, she'll never show up again. My daughter figured that this could be the best opportunity to get rid of her, so she accepted. Now here comes the interesting part. She wouldn't drive her home exactly, she just drove around the town for a while, while telling her story. According to my daughter, she broke up with her girlfriend after one year of her relationship with the co-worker because they had too much different interests. She said that while she tried to live her life, she constantly had her daughters in her mind. She said she went no contact because she deleted the numbers, and she hoped that this would help her start a new life with her girlfriend. She spent the last two years in a depression because she figured she couldn't live without her babies around, and that she deeply regrets leaving them, and that her life was a total mess. She could understand if my daughters hated her, but she would try to make everything right if they just gave her the chance. And then my daughter basically how I met your mothered her, and asked her what would have happened if her relationship and her life were successful, and if her and her older sister are just the consolation prize. Quick intervention from me at this point. I was so proud at my daughter at that moment. She is 13 and yet she is so mature and intelligent. I love her. My daughter told me that this question made ex-wife really mad, and apparently, she accused me of poisoning them against her. Funny because I never talked bad about her to my daughters. Of course I was angry for a long time, so I said a few bad things about her to my co-workers, but never to my daughters. She is still the mother of my children after all. My daughter said that when she got out of the car, she affirmed her will of never seeing her again, and my ex-wife just nodded and then she drove away. My daughter asked me if we could do anything so she stays away, because she doesn't expect her to keep her promise. I called for my older daughter, and my younger daughter explained her what happened as well. Then I asked them if I should get the restraining order, and I explained them what that would mean and what would happen then, and they said yes. So yeah this is what I'm gonna do. I know that a few people might think it's harsh, but it's not like I didn't warn her. 
If anything happens again, I keep you updated. She deleted her own kid's numbers. Well, mother of the year. She hoped that this would help her start a new life with her girlfriend. Not just deleted their numbers, but actually told her daughter this was the reason. This lady is just plain awful. For context, she had her kids in 2005 and 2009. It's not like this is a woman who started her family in 1955 and is afraid that the stigma of her alternative lifestyle will ruin her children's lives if people find out. Nothing like that, she dipped. She didn't just follow her dreams, she scorched the earth behind her. When I read the 13-year-old got into the ex's car and didn't immediately drive her home, I thought this would have taken a darker turn. If they let this continue, it eventually will. Yep. All that BS manipulation about, I can't live without my babies was laughable. You need someone to want you like your co-worker did. I don't understand why the mother had to ditch the kids to pursue her new life as a lesbian. It's one thing for the marriage to end, that's understandable, but you don't stop being a parent because of that. And then there is the how. How the heck do you just leave like that? How can you be happy leaving two kids behind just because you're in love with someone? She didn't have to, but she wanted to. Most troubled parents waffle about splitting up due to concerns about the kids, but she couldn't wait to duck out of their lives. A friend had his wife ditch him and their younger teenage kids when she had a midlife crisis and ran off with a younger man. They got divorced. No contact until the guy finally left her and she tried to come crying back. He left it up to the kids if they wanted to talk to her and they said no way. Her parents were also on his side and stayed involved in their grandkids' lives. Several years later, he got remarried and his ex-parents-in-law were among the guests. I was honestly expecting to read about how OP had met an amazing woman in the intervening years, who was his true soulmate, and was supporting him and his kids wonderfully during all this drama caused by his ex-wife, whose life fell apart after leaving such a great guy. Also, and then my daughter basically how I met your mother her, and asked her what would have happened if her relationship and her life were successful, and if her and her older sister are just the consolation prize. For those wondering, in the last season of How I Met Your Mother, two of the main characters who are a couple are having an argument. One of them brings up the fact that the other person had abandoned them for months to try to chase their dream of being an artist. This character then asks if they are the consolation prize and wonders if the other person would ever have come back if they had achieved their dream. Now for the last story. I male 28, I'm struggling to support my brother male 31, after his fiance female 28, cheated on him with one of my friends at a party that I was throwing. Like the title describes, myself and my partner female 27, had a party for her birthday last weekend at our house, and my brother and his fiance came. My brother had to do something the next day, so he didn't really drink and left early, but his fiance stayed. We don't allow people upstairs at parties, but one of our friends went up to use the bathroom and walked in on my brother's fiancé and one of my other friends. The friend that caught them said that when he walked in, they were hugging, and when they separated, he saw that his jeans were undone. Their story is that my brother's fiancé had never done coke before and my friend had some so they went up to take it. They both got really high and admitted that they kissed and his jeans got undone because it was going to go further, but she stopped before it did. They have both said that nothing else happened. My brother is obviously very hurt by it all, but seems to be leaning towards believing her and wanting to move past it. I'm struggling to support him because I think they're lying about what fully happened. I spoke to the friend who walked in again, and he agrees and thinks something else happened. For starters, he said that he thinks my brother's fiancé's dress looked weird, as in it wasn't on properly or adjusted properly or something, and he said the whole thing just had that feeling of something has just happened, if you get what I mean. He said he would be very surprised if kissing was the extent of it, but also doesn't really want to be involved, because he can't be 100% certain as he didn't stick around when he opened the door. Basically the advice I'm looking for is, should I just drop it and support my brother if he wants to continue the relationship? Obviously the guy is no longer a friend no matter what, but I'm considering talking to him and seeing if he will tell me if anything else happened. He's on the band list with all our friends now anyway, so I could tell him that if he wants any chance of friendship with any of us, he has to tell me the truth. Should I get involved? I want my brother to be happy, but if she's lying, I think my brother should know. The other thing is, she was drunk and had taken coke for the first time, but I don't think that changes my opinion on her cheating. Advice on that would also be appreciated. I feel like your brother is believing his fiancé because he wants to believe his fiancé. She was at his sibling's house, took a substance, went to a vaguely restricted area, and got caught in a compromising situation. I don't think any substance causes someone to cheat, even if it's their first time. Additionally, this wasn't some random stranger. 
she chose to be inappropriate with someone inside their social network. All of that is to say, I get wanting to protect your brother, but when someone just blatantly wants to ignore the clearly bad facts and ignore all of the other things that are probable, but not admitted, they have probably made their choice. You don't have to like or be friendly with his fiance. Just be wary of laying out all the facts and becoming the scapegoat here. It's like after a breakup when you bash your friend's ex, and then a week later they're back together, and you're feeling awkward about every unkind but probably true thing you said. I'd follow your brother's lead. If he wants you to pry, do it. If he doesn't and wants to forgive her, well that's on him, and I doubt any amount of facts you present will change his mind. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm even in complete shock that she would do something like this. She's always been such a nice person. Thanks for the advice. If I was you, I'd still try and stop his from marrying her, it's obvious more crap happened than they would admit. She definitely cheated, I feel like your brother's emotions are all over the place, and he's too hurt just to break it off right at this moment. Keep talking to him, and at least try to make him open his eyes and see that she cheated. Believe me, this won't be the last time she'll cheat. Thanks. Yeah, you're definitely right about his emotions. I don't even want to necessarily break them up, but I think he should have all the facts so he can make a decision. If he still wants to be with her even if he finds out more happened, then I might not like it, but I'll support him, and at least he'll know.